There's no reason that anybody should slow down uh, the older you get. You know, you think about what, what do you want on your deathbed? I mean, I, I want awesome memories, and those memories, all of them, involve suffering. I decided December 1st of 2009, I was gonna try to run for 100 days in a row. After my run today, it will be 3,167 days. When I first started running, I remember like the, the first time I tried um, in June of 09. I went to the gym, got on the treadmill, hit the uh, the button to start going, and I could I ran about a half a mile before I had to knock it back down to that that fast walk pace. At the time, I had my daughter was uh, six months old. I had one child at that time. And I was just thinking long term, here I am 25 years old and I am overweight. I was um, somewhere around 315 pounds. And you know, I wanna be able to enjoy her life, right? I wanna be able to, to be in shape enough to have activity with her. And I didn't feel like I could have that at that time. So I decided December 1st of 2009, I was gonna to try to run for 100 days in a row. I was gonna run at least two miles. That would get me through Christmas and New Year's and Super Bowl and all bunch of stuff that normally you would veg out and, and not work out. Once I got to day 101, I just kept going. And uh, after my run today, it will be 3,167 days in a row. So from there, it is continued on and now I've done close to, to 40 marathons and ultra distance races and it's taken me all the way across the state of Tennessee. It's taken me to California to run Western States 100 out there. I know I'm not the fastest guy, but I can probably suffer with some of the best hopefully. Now I have uh, four kids and it's amazing how contagious and infectious, if you will, running is, or uh, that type of healthy lifestyle. They see how much fun and see how much enjoyment I get out of it. I think they, they want to do that too. We get to go and share, share the woods together, and the kids, instead of just wanting to hike, they want to run on the trails. If I'm going to be out running for hours and hours, I want to do it out in somewhere it's beautiful. So this is lovely Lookout Mountain. Um, the, in my opinion, pound for pound, some of the best trails in the entire country. One of our favorite spots that to start a trail run is at Craven's House, a pre-Civil War house. Uh, during the war, both the North and the South uh, at one point used it as a headquarters and kind of as a uh, hospital triage area. If somebody visits Chattanooga and if I could take them on one trail run, I would always take them from Craven's House uh, to Point Park. Um, Point Park is a, is a beautiful rock outcropping that you can see a panoramic view of the city of Moccasin Bend. That is the one view uh, that you have to see. Uh, when you're here in Chattanooga. I hear people that live in other areas having to drive hours sometimes to get to a trail they want to run. If, if we have to drive hours for a trail, it better be an awesome trail. My name's Ryan Beckett. I'm Chris Levan, and we're both volunteer leaders with Scenic City Trail Runners. We just host runs Tuesdays and Thursdays every week and on Thursdays um, we'll mix it up and, and do a lot more um, single track runs and really get out and rotate the, the environments that we're running in. You know we're about building community and relationships and I think that a lot of people that run with the group have something that they're trying to work on or improve or build self-confidence or self-esteem and uh, you don't even have to be a runner to find therapy in nature.
Today we're at the North Chickamauga Creek, and so we got to do a couple shout outs, and Ryan's wearing the shirt here, but it's Wild Trails, and so they just did a ton of work on this trail. There's a new set of stairs that they did, and so this was actually like a really sketchy cable crossing across some rocks and a waterfall um, until about two weeks ago. Randy Horton and uh, Mark Akers came out and designed these stairs, and it's, it's really helped transform this area. Come on, my babies. Hello, chicky chickies. You guys ready to come out and see the world? That's Norma, and that's uh, Ruby, and that's Jane, and that's uh, Dol this is Dola, and this is the prettiest one, and that's Stella. Huh? Aren't you the prettiest one? My wife and I uh, moved here from Boulder, Colorado, uh, with the intent of being in the south, you know, three to five year stint and then move back west somewhere. Quite frankly, you couldn't pay me enough to move anywhere else. It's just the greatest trail city in America. Right now we're at our house and I mean, it's just paradise for us. We have 54 trailheads within 25 minutes of downtown Chattanooga that there's not a city in America that can come even close. I mean, even half of that. So it's a great place to live for trails, but there's a lot of challenges. There's a lot of trails to maintain. So that's a lot of what Wild Trails does is maintenance. I am the founder, a co-founder with my wife, and we put on um, probably about 12 trail races and paddleboard races throughout the year. And all the money that we raise goes back to the trail community in the form of trail work, trail maintenance. So this Saturday, still hollow. I think it's in its eighth year, and it's a 10K and a half marathon. Great introduction to trail running for sure. Fleet Feet Chattanooga is a partner with Odd Story and Wild Trails. We both partner with Wild Trails on this race coming up this weekend, the Steel Hollow 10K and Half Marathon. Packet pickup starts today at 4, 4 p.m. and uh, yeah, Odd Story will be there serving free beer. It's out at Enterprise South Nature Park, which is a really unique place. It's an old army depot and there's all these bunkers that had bombs uh, they stored uh, for the Second World War and just a beautiful nature park, tons of wildlife. I will say this a hundred times, but there's a big party at Odd Story afterwards. We come to Odd Story Brewing about once a month. We have a, usually have a pub run here. One group that started on the North Shore was running for brews. We start here at Brew Haas. We go across the Walnut Street Bridge, which is one of the longest pedestrian bridges in the country. And after the 5K, we meet back here and have wonderful craft beers and delicious German food. I don't know what happened when I was a kid. I probably got dumped on my head too many times, but I just never could stay still and uh, one of the coolest things my parents did for me is bought me a competition trampoline when I was I think in third grade um, and I still have that trampoline in the backyard right now so just got at a very young age hooked into just doing stuff with your body and, and uh, thanks to the trampoline I became a diver and a gymnast and actually became a professional high diver dropped out of college basically to join the circus for four years and traveled all over the world with this high diving team and it's never really stopped. I mean I just I like um, doing interesting things that requires uh, coordination and fitness and balance and and the older I get uh, the more valuable I think it is. You know I see a lot of guys and gals that are doing pretty amazing things late in life. You know, I'm gonna be 68 this year and I just can't imagine slowing down. There's no reason that anybody should slow down uh, the older you get. Yeah, no question, things start hurting. When you hurt yourself, it takes longer to heal, but I mean, what a magical thing that we have, this human body, that allows you to heal. I mean, you should go out there and, and force pain on yourself. Um, suffering is one of the greatest things in life. Yeah, it hurts, but man, I tell you, the the highs and lows of just emotions and just the, you know, you think about what, what do you want on your deathbed? I mean, I, I want awesome memories and those memories, all of them involve suffering. Don't be afraid to try something new. Don't be afraid of learning something new and um, keep being an athlete for the rest of your life and don't ever stop.